across the oceans to be here with us at this iconic Kartavya Path. And even those who could not are virtually with us through the bits and bytes of internet data, which incidentally also flows through submarine cables across the seas. Therefore, the G20 Thank You is indeed a remarkable blend. It comprehensively conveys Bharat's outlook. There is only one earth which makes us one big family that is destined to share one common future, the trajectory of which will be decided by the choices that the present and future generations will make. So by handing over the onus of this future to the young, this event also leads towards the culmination of Bharat's highly successful presidency of G20. This quiz, which has just got completed, has been very challenging, exciting, creative, aspirational, riveting, innovating, and kept everyone at the edge of their seats. It's been conducted by the quiz master in a very fabulous way. So before concluding, I express my sincere gratitude to all those at home and abroad who worked in unison to make this quiz competition more than just an academic exercise. A special thanks to Sri Amitabh Kanji, the G20 Sherpa, and the G20 Secretariat for their unflinching support. I thank the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of External Affairs, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Environment, uh, the Naval Headquarters, VESI team, uh, team from INS India, the Navy Welfare and Wellness Association members, all for their support and assistance that has made this event possible. I will no longer stand between you and the balance ceremonies. I wish all the participants the very best in every endeavor in life. I thank the Honorable Vice President for kindly consenting to spare his valuable time to grace this event. Thank you. Jai Bharat. Thank you, sir. May I now request Mrs. Minakshi Lekhi, Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture, to kindly felicitate our most enthusiastic and promising quizzers and second runners-up team. May I also request Mrs. Kala Harikamar to kindly join us on stage. And the most enthusiastic and promising quizzers are Team Australia. Can we have a huge round of applause for Team Australia, ladies and gentlemen? They win an Apple iPad each. Thank you, Team Australia. Thank you, Team Australia. Time for the next team. And our second runners up for the evening are Team European Union. Can we have a huge round of applause? They win an Apple MacBook Air, AirPods, and Fab India gift hamper. Thank you. Thank you, Team European Union. Oh, there is another gift for you. You can please stay on stage.
is off. May I now request Mrs. Minakshi Lekhi, Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture, to kindly address the gathering. Honorable Vice President of India, uh, Admiral Harikumarji, Kalaji, officers, ladies and gentlemen, pleasure and honor being here. And uh, just yesterday, a day, a day or two ago, the Prime Minister closed the Indian part of the G20. We've had the final summit. And now wrapping it up with this uh, thank you has been a fantastic idea. And I want to thank uh, our uh, NAVA, the, the ladies' organization from Indian Navy and Indian Navy, for hosting such a wonderful quiz, because I remember we all grew up on the quizzing and the, all the quizzes that used to happen nationally. And even all these uh, young students who have made it to the top, all those participating teams, my heartfelt congratulations. And as in life, you lose some, you win some, but all of you have won a lot. Just by virtue of being selected from your respective countries, you've gone through the grill, being present here, performing with the best of your abilities. And sometimes we saw it happening right in front of us that many teams did very well in earlier rounds who fell back in the final rounds. This happens in life also. Many a times you win, you lose, you lose, you win. This is what life has to teach. And losing teaches us far more than the winning teaches us. So wish you the really, really the very best. May these lessons come a long way in life and teach us to be patient and teach us to stay grounded even when you win. And my best wishes and India will always be etched in your hearts because these competition you won at Kartavipat, as the Prime Minister says, the Kartavipat also indicates and binds us to all the duties we need to perform and all the duties we need to perform towards our respective countries towards the humanity at large, and G20 this year represents not just the global 20 biggest economies of the world, the global north, but also the voice of the global south, the ones who were left behind, their voices count as much as the ones who have taken the lead, and only when everybody comes together, the solutions to problems with the globe faces at large can be found. Once again, Thank you very much, Admiral uh, Harikumarji, Kalaji, and all the officers from the Tri Forces, and also the Honorable Vice President's presence gives us a great honor and pleasure. Thank you very much. Jai Bharat. Thank you, ma'am, for inspiring words. May I now request Admiral R. Harikumar, Chief of the Naval Staff, to present a memento on this occasion to Mrs. Minakshi Lekhi. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request the chief guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, to kindly come on stage to felicitate our winners. Ladies and gentlemen, the first runners up for this evening, Team Italy. And they win an Apple MacBook Air, an Apple Watch Ultra 2, and a Fab India gift hamper.
Thank you, Team Italy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the G20 ThinQ are Team Singapore. They win a MacBook Air, an iPhone 15, and Fab India gift hampers. Thank you, Team Singapore. May I now request the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, to kindly address this August gathering. Good evening, all of you, and greetings to all of you. Minister of State for External Affairs, Government of India, Srimati Minakshi Lekhi, Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, President, Navy Wives Welfare Association, Mrs. Kala Hari Kumar, men in uniform, and everyone present here. It's a delightful moment for all of us. I'm extremely honored and privileged to be at this extraordinary G20 Think event organized by the Indian Navy, the Navy Welfare Wellness Association, in collaboration with G20 Secretariat. Navy's thoughtful endeavor to take a school quiz competition to global stage with G20 Think has evoked appreciation all around. The Indian Navy Quiz Think went global this year to commemorate Azadi Ka Amrit Khan, with India assuming the chairmanship of prestigious G20. And let me respond to the Admiral. You are limitless because you sail beyond the horizon, and that's what you have done. <laughs> By going beyond traditional boundaries, the Navy has transformed this competition, G20 Think, into a beacon of unity, promoting cultural exchange and friendship among G20 nations. Friends, this initiative speaks volumes about the Navy's commitment to not only ensuring our maritime security, but also in contributing to global intellectual discourse and cooperation. This event has seen participation of young and brilliant minds across the world. It has contributed in strengthening the bridges of friendship with G20 partners. Imagine the kind of body language they emanated when they came on the screen. 
I was absolutely charmed by their dress. I inquired about it. All of them felt at home, away from their home, in the land of culture that is our Bharat. I am overwhelmed at this impactful, challenging engagement of the youth signaling productive and impactful people-to-people -people connect. Globally, people-to-people -people connect is highly impactful, goes a long way in securing harmony and peace in the world. Generating this people-to-people -people connect with these impressionable minds will be a game changer, and I'm sure such events would further be emulated. The innovative event G20 Thinku has imparted unique, and friends, it is unique in several ways. The way it has been conducted, the way there has been exposure of participants to every nook and corner of this country and the culture of this nation. It's stimulating intellectual experience to thousands of young minds on both a national and international scale. There is no substitute to experiential learning. Experience is all important. Faced with experience, we carry indelible imprint of it. The quiz competition, the concept has been very thoughtfully evolved. And it indicates what has been our theme for thousands of years, Vasudev Kutamkam. We are a civilization unrivaled in the world with thousands of years of ethos. And this was most significantly, impactfully reflected when we had G20 events all over the country for about a year. And the concept is, world is one family. This nation, Bharat, has always subscribed to this sublime principle. And in such a perspective, it is in sync with the G20 theme. And the theme carries a message to the entire world of peace, prosperity, and happiness. And the theme is one earth, one family, one future. This has been integral part of our civilization for over 5,000 years. Credit goes to all the stakeholders for making this resounding success with seamless management, and there have been no fault lines. The national round saw participation of over 11,000 schools where students from class 9 to 12 or equivalent participated. Their wit was tested. Look at the figure, more than 11,000 schools from every part of the country participated. It was a keen, intense competition. DAV Public School Gurugram emerged as the winner, and we had the occasion to see them performing here also excellently by getting a slot in the midline. What is more significant and what indicates inclusiveness is that there has been participation in the international round from G20 plus nine nations, their number being 23, and drawn from various continents of the globe. The semifinals were evenly balanced. When I saw the result was being announced, I could feel the cheer. I could feel the happiness. It was a moment ever to be remembered and cherished by the winners and also the participants. This is not just a competition being celebrated. We are celebrating collective spirit of curiosity, knowledge, and friendship, and this has brought us together. I must express my admiration for the winning team. Congratulations to Singapore. 
it is only coincident, coincidental that they happen to be people of Indian origin. Your dedication, hard work and intellect have propelled you at this position in global challenge. But let us not forget, in an event of this magnitude, every participant is a winner, as was reflected by the Honorable Minister. Every participant is a winner. In every sense, each participant, each team, each nation represented here is winner. Each participant representing his country, her country, with pride has contributed to the richness of the tapestry of ideas and perspectives that make events like this so enriching and thrilling. The bonds formed, the lessons learned, and memories created are lifetime treasures. Imagine young, impressionable minds being in Bharat, home to one-sixth of humanity, having contact with similar impressionable minds. They will go a long way. This connect would have geometric impact. G20 think befittingly marks the concluding chapter of a series of significant and notable events held since December 2022, as India passes G20 leadership to Brazil on December 1, 2023. Friends, the world acknowledged our inclusive phenomenal rise, our rich and vibrant culture, and there the reflection was in 60 locations, in 200 interactions, the functions were held, the footprint of G20 was there in every state and union territory of the country. G20 presidency has elevated the status of the nation at a global stage. The world was stunned having seen such an organization. And the result was for welfare of humanity. Our presidency has been inclusive, ambitious, and people-centric. It embodies both our way of life as also our global outlook. It is a thread that connects us together, not as members of a nation, but as integral players of a global community. Today, it has become India's clarion call to the world for peace, harmony, and humanism. The vision of the leadership has truly made it, and I emphasize, this has been unique G20 program, unique G20 presidentship. It became People's G20, was celebrated as a festival all over the country, and the world, the members, rejoiced it. A soothing outcome, a wholesome outcome, a statesman kind of an outcome, India's presidency has brought the voice of the Global South into the heart of G20 discourse. This is a game changer in world polity. The inclusion of African Union as a permanent member of G20 on the premise of India's initiative and consisted efforts is a historic step. This inclusion will strengthen G20 as never before. Friends, New Delhi G20 leaders declaration, there were many heartbeats. The world was watching whether it will be divisive, whether they can secure unanimity. And at the end of the day, our inclusive approach, vision of the Prime Minister, his deep commitment for global welfare resulted in a consensual document 
of far-reaching consequence for global peace and harmony. G20 Leaders Declaration is not a document, it's a historic declaration. What is indicated therein spells out how future, how in future nations will conduct themselves in accordance with a legal regime and global order. It is global acknowledgement of India's role in bridging north-south divide and overcoming strong east-west polarization. Both these aspects, friends, had headwinds. They were not on center stage. Our Prime Minister worked hard, had a vision, he got it executed, it fructified in the shape of the declaration. It is thus from every consideration, recognition of Bharat as a voice of peace and moderation in a world ridden with divisions facing conflagrations. Initiatives, friends, taken by India during the summit, like the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, a very significant development will be highly impactful in global economy. This has rectified, coupled with the Global Biofuels Alliance. Both these steps, historic steps, have sown the seeds for a more connected future with a key leadership role for Bharat. India is the largest and oldest democracy. It is mother of democracy. This also hosted G20 Parliamentary Speaker Summit or P20 in October this year. Parliamentarians from across the world came together and reaffirmed their commitment towards making an effective and meaningful parliamentary contribution to the G20 progress. The Prime Minister has also hosted two sessions of the Voice of Global South Summit this year, so India has essentially held four such meetings in a single year in which over 150 world leaders have participated. This exemplifies relevance of India in our contemporaneous times. This also clearly demonstrates the convening power of India and the leadership of the Prime Minister at global level. Friends, I am thrilled. I am grateful to Navy. Recently, I have attended some functions organized by Navy. They were first of its kind. They were very thought-provoking, very ably managed. But this one has indeed been unique. We will have to compliment those to whom this great idea occurred. This idea has a potential to be nerve center and epicenter of global connectivity right from the beginning. My compliments to Indian Navy, the Navy Welfare and Wellness Association, and G20 Secretariat for their foresighted foresightedness, statesmanship, dedication in organizing an event of this scale in this manner with no fault lines as I indicated before. Friends, as you look forward to the future, let the spirit of G20 think continue unabated, reminding us that despite our diverse backgrounds, we are united by our common pursuit of a brighter and more interconnected world. Let us continue to pave way for a future where collaboration knows no bounds. Friends, it will be a delightful moment if the quiz master is also quizzed. And I have no doubt, going by the enormous talent of the participants and the winners, the quiz master will take home many learning lessons. Jai Bharat. Thank you, sir.
May I now request Admiral R. Hari Kumar, Chief of the Naval Staff, to present a memento on this occasion to our Chief Guest. Ladies and gentlemen, I happen to be Chairman Rajya Sabha also. In September 2023, on 21st September to be precise, we passed Women Reservation Bill, providing for one-third of reservation for women in Lok Sabha, in state legislatures. I was therefore putting to the Admiral, how come the spouse of the admiral is not here when she has been continually here when others were so gifted. I would therefore make a fervent plea to ma'am to be here when I get this honor from Indian Navy. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now request to kindly rise for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Uttar, Vanga, Vindya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchchal, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Mange, Gahe, Tava, Jaya, Gatha, जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे